My name's Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. Welcome to part six of the design and prototype build series. In this episode, we're gonna be painting the prototype. I'm gonna cover painting with an HVLP gun and rattle can in this episode. I'm using some automotive primer here and I'm just adjusting the uh, HVLP gun. I'm adjusting the width of the fan and the uh, pressure of the air uh, that's being supplied to the gun. Once I'm happy with the settings on the gun, meaning I get the fan uh, width right and the amount of paint that's coming out is good for me at the correct pressure, I'm ready to start painting my parts. When I'm painting, I'm painting in light bursts, light coats, and I'm holding my gun parallel to the surface that I'm painting. I'm not waving it all over the place, as I see some people do. I'm doing nice light coats to build up the primer. Once the primer's had a chance to dry, we're gonna apply some spot putty to the little tiny defects that are left. So things like pinholes and scratches that the primer didn't quite fill, we're gonna fill with the spot putty. And spot putty is basically a thick paint. I'm applying it here with a little gift card, something that's flexible that's gonna allow me to get it into the areas where the little holes are, if there are any. And I'm just applying just where the holes are. So spot putty is not like a filler. It just fills tiny little pinholes and imperfections. Once the spot putty is dried, and read the directions on the spot putty that you buy, because it may vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, I'm gonna wet sand those areas. And I'm gonna be removing 90 to 95% of the spot putty. All that's gonna be left are little red dots or little red scratches where the spot putty is just filling in those little imperfections. Now that that's had a chance to dry, we're gonna bond the main body ring to the upper half uh, of the prototype. I'm gonna use a little bit of gel, super glue. Super glue or cyanol acrylate is very good at bonding dissimilar materials. So in this case, the wren that we turned the main body in is being bonded to the styrene. Now that the unit's bonded together, I want to tape off uh, the top part and I'm going to reprime the entire object. So I'm using a little bit of white artist tape and I'm putting the tape where I don't want any primer um, to go. In this case, the very top little lip uh, on the top of the body. I'm gonna use a little bit of Duplicolor sandable primer uh, to prime the entire object here. So the tape uh, is holding up the unit and I'm painting the whole thing with a white primer. I used the white primer so I could draw onto the main body where the opening for the USB connector is gonna be. And I'm gonna punch a series of holes with my Dremel tool, kinda rough cut that area. And I'm gonna come back in, kinda widen up the opening a little bit, and then I'm gonna move to a hand tool. I vacuum everything out nice and clean, and I switch to a hand file, and I do all this fine detail work by hand. Next, I'm gonna go to a set of needle nose uh, files and really get the corners and the edges the way I want. I even round them over slightly here a little bit with the needle nose files. I'm using the right tool for the right job. Now we're gonna get ready for the final paint. I've probably primed the unit one more time and I've remasked uh, the unit with some tape around the edges. And the tape is gonna allow me to hang uh, the unit. I'm just cutting in some little holes and stringing up three strings so that I can hang the whole ring and let it uh, be suspended from the ceiling for when I paint it. I'm gonna paint the body blue with a Duplicolor automotive um, grade paint and a clear coat on top of that. I hang the uh, object outdoors in a well-ventilated area. And here's the finished part. 
I have to apologize, I just don't have any footage of me spraying the paint. Once the paint's pretty dry to the touch and I don't get any more finger marks on it, I take an X-Acto and I run that along the edge of the tape and basically I cut through the paint so that when I peel off the tape, it doesn't remove any paint from the part itself, ensuring that I get a good quality finish. Next, I'm going to do a quick test fit to make sure everything works as it should. In this case it does. The wires stick through for the solar panel and we're all good. I'm just going through here and I'm doing a little bit of cleanup where some paint might have bled underneath the tape. Not a really big deal. I'm using the uh, flat side of an X-Acto. Just scraping off any little bits of blue that might have bled underneath there. I'm going to do a quick little test fit here of the bottom so you can see how that goes together and that's looking pretty nice. In the next episode we're going to cover the final assembly where we're going to attach the pedals and we're going to insert and secure the electronics into the device and then we're going to be finished with the assembly of this prototype for a solar charger. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Rock on. I hope that you check out and enjoy some of the other videos that I have. Don't forget to like and subscribe.